hi there everyone welcome to another episode of trevor's turn here at geektopia island i'm cardwell and i'm kevin and that's trevor today we're going back to the old hat of uh mechanic that is a little eh on Arjun saga but hopefully with this uh new list that i can actually get there but before we do i'm going to remind you that we do have a patreon it only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it and the link will be down below and today it's look ma no hands uh it's another discard deck but it's mono black and we'll see where it goes and of course for the champion we have to have hoina immortal conjurer because she's just the good yeah, she's super she's good super strong when you destroy a tower or a unit in battle place one counter on this card remove three counters from this card put in a golem token which is a 1500 for some weird hey, reason why not? and of course the spirit has to be luna the dark spirit when you destroy a tower or a unit at the same time you place one counter on this card during your turn, remove three counters from this card. Your opponent discards one, and then during your turn, only Soul Burst discard. They can discard another one. So help you get there. Just get rid of their hand real quick. Yeah, and it is in battle, so that's the only issue. Is it has to be from combat. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, the first person of the deck we got is the Thief of Valor. It is a one drop, five hundred, and you can exhaust an offering three by removing three dudes in your yard. And then expel target unit from an opponent's discard zone. Then this turn you may play that card as though it were in your hand. So you still have to pay for it, but if you kill their big six drop, you can be like, cool, remove three dudes, get your six drop. Yeah. Or even in the early game, you make them discard it, and then later you're like, oh, look, remember that thing that you put in the graveyard? It's yeah. mine now. Yeah, I we'll want it. So that, that's what the difference is of this list, is that you're able to do things that aren't discard while discarding stuff. Yeah, that, that's another thing. You don't want to all have cards discarded because they have no hand, then you're like doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, Unger, the Conjurer's Adversary. Adver adversary? Yeah, <laughs> no. Adversary. It's a two drop 1500 uh, Conjurer. Whenever a unit your opponent controls is put into the discard zone, you may put it into a Raven token, uh, which is 500, so I can go scout out towers. Sacrifice two other units, your opponent's champion loses all abilities this turn. So there you go. Yeah, so that is within, like, when you kill dudes, you get little ravens, but it is what it is. Yeah. I like how on the picture, it looks like someone drew in the glasses. Like, they're not actually part <laughs> yeah. of the art. It's weird. Uh, next is the Gloom Neophyte. It is a 3-drop 1500. Whenever a card is discarded from your opponent's hand, you may have target unit get minus 2,000. I mean, you're doing discard for free with the champion, or the the, the spirit, spirit so you might as well get free kill. kill spells out of it. Yeah, ridiculous. She's awesome. Uh, Knight Rider Aaron Earn. Uh, it's a three drop, two thousand. <clears throat> additional cost to play this card. You may sacrifice a unit. If you pay the additional cost, look at your opponent's hand. You may choose a card with the same cost as sacrifice unit. Your opponent discards that card. So there you go. Yeah. If you know what they're playing, you know the spell, the side, the number to get. Yep. Uh, Enforcer of the Twisting Abyss. He has a three drop, two thousand. Whenever this card deals damage to an opponent's tower, your opponent discards a card, and you draw a card. And whenever your opponent discards a card, you may add this card from your discard to your hand. So, he comes back when you make him discard, so your spirit can make it happen for free. And he makes you discard. Like, yeah. he does both for you, so it's really, really strong. Uh, uh, Mabe, the very daughter, it's a 4 drop 2500, with it as arrived or ruin trigger. So you choose one. Your opponent discards a card, or add target... Target dark unit from the card from your discard zone to your hand, other than this card. So therefore, you can just loop dudes or just be able to like arrive, discard, die, discard. So you yeah. can just get get that done and over with. Uh, Demon of the Evil Eye. He's a five drop, three thousand. Arrive, declare a card name. Then your opponent reveals their hand and discards all cards with that name. Draw one card for each card discarded this way. And nice. so, if you know what's in their hand, you get to make sure that this works however you need it. Yeah, exactly. With the Knight Rider for sure. Mm -hmm. Golem of Vengeance is a 6 drop 4000. So it has Destroyer, so it can hit two towers at once. Uh, arrive, look at the, your opponent's hand and select one card, then your opponent discards that card. If you control two or other Golem units, they discard two, select two cards instead. So, you know, with the uh, Hoina getting there, making Golems, you should be able to do that pretty quickly. And then the last dude of the deck is uh, Gigith, the King of Gargoyles. He is a 10 drop 3000. This card costs two less to play for each card in your hand that exceeds the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Uh, if you have more cards in your hand than they do, neither player can add to the queue in response to playing this card. And then other units you control gain immortal during your turn. So this dude gets really huge really quickly. Yeah. Or I mean, he is just as big and he makes sure he's immortal, but he can cost cheaper, which is really, really nice. Yeah. 
which could be really good especially if they accidentally like hit a blue tower early then you automatically have way more cards yeah. than they do and then you can drop them down and he's not legendary so you can have multiple in the field which makes them completely immortal yeah yeah if you have two then they, they don't get to kill you dudes it's ridiculous I uh, hate this card, Melanate's Case. So, one drop, look at your opponent's hand, you may choose a two non-unit card from among them with two or less, your opponent discards that card. It's really good. I just always get caught with it at the end of the game <laughs> for no reason, and it does not work. Um, but yeah, in this deck, but, it's really good for all the cards that you need to know a name of, or like a cost for. So, Knight Errant, it's really good, or the Demon of Evil Eye. Yeah. Because you can look at their hand and know what they're playing, and then call it later. Yep. Uh, next is the Delayed Poison. It is a one-drop augment. It's a kill spell. At the start of your next turn, destroy an equipped unit. So, and it starts in their turn. So, yeah, it just dies. Spells. It just uh, it's a one-drop kill spell that delays for one second. All right, Omega Mag Magic Yami. Of course, we have to have it. It's two-drop Insta Cast. Choose one, or if you have two or less towers, then you can choose both. Target unit gets one thousand this turn. Return target unit with three or less from your discard zone to the field. That's super good. Yeah, card is amazingly really good. impressive. Uh, Poisonous Strike is a 3-drop spell, insta-cast, target attacking and blocking dude gets minus 2,000, then your opponent discards a card from their hand. Yep. So you get to kill a dude and make them discard, which is what you're wanting. Very powerful. And of course we have to have it, Hoina's Wrath. It's a 6-drop spell, but not really. It costs 2 less to play if you're champion as Hoina. Put into play 2 Berserker Golem units that are 2,000, then each non-Golem unit gets minus X thousand, where X is the number of Golems you control. If you just need a board wipe, and you will, and you just do this. Yeah, it's just so good. Doesn't matter what you have on your field, just play this. Yeah, and if you have an extra golem, then it's minus three thousand, and you kill pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, with that, that goes to the shards. Of course, we have to have the spirit ruby, because when you tap it, uh, exhaust your or flip over your spirit, destroy target unit. Simple as that. And we have the nightmare crystal. Uh, it's a special shard for the black spirit so exhaust spin your top card of the deck to the discard zone just in case and then of course the regular regu regular argent shards sorry it's been a while since we've talked about these cards so you know words and yeah. spoke to another human being <laughs> but with that hopefully you enjoyed the list the list will be down below and hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at geektopia island goodbye later also guys make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.